So another thing I wanted to show you guys while I'm in quarantine is these curtains. I'm gonna DIY these curtain rods. <laughs> so I'll show you what I do with them. So this is my living room curtain rods. And as you can see, they're silver. So I ordered these little rings, curtain rings. I'm gonna show you a quick way to DIY. I'm gonna throw these in the wash machine on like a delicate cycle and then air dry them and steam them. Okay, no more messing around. I'm gonna get these curtains spray painted and then you're gonna see the transformation in this room. So stay tuned. <laughs> project that you can do now that we're in quarantine it's super inexpensive to do it's gonna cost like probably $12 just to renovate these little curtains in your home so I'm transferring um, I'm um, painting no I'm um, transforming I'm transforming these basic curtain rods into cafe style curtains that are gonna look a little bit more modern and so the spray paint that I purchased it was like four dollars And then these rings that I purchased, they were probably like seven or eight dollars on Amazon. And they're, these are already black, I didn't have to spray paint these. So this little ring is gonna attach onto the, whatchamacallit, and then we'll staple these guys. You got one fingernail that looks busted. <laughs> we're in quarantine. Our tree is blooming nicely. Yay, spring! Okay, so I'll just give you a little tour real quick. This is our living room. We have little pompous here, and this is our pretty rug and a little painting. We have a pooped. I also DIY'd this. It's an old bourbon bottle, and all you do is soak the bottle in hot water and soap will peel off and then you take acetone or nail polish remover and you get off all the sticky stuff and then it gets you get this cute little bottle i put a little fresh lavender and then you spray it with some hairspray this is like a flexible hold hairspray but it'll do the trick and then when you do that it kind of takes away the smell of the lavender so then you can put some lavender oil on the stems So I think I'm going to pleat this one on the end. So if your curtains are like mine and they have the hole, you can just take the curtain and pull that there. And then that's where you will stick your pin. And then it just makes it look more sleek when it's up on the wall. So here we go. Here's the little hole where you usually would put the curtain rod, but this is where you want to make a pleat. Don't mind my nails, nothing's open, so we're DIYing nails and they chip faster, obviously. These are pretty heavy duty clips. I'm gonna link these down below if you guys want to purchase these exact ones. They're pretty heavy duty. <laughs> I mean, these curtain rods were super inexpensive, and I'm sure you guys 
know if you have a home or an apartment that curtain rods, curtains, furniture is just expensive, especially like the what you really like. So ideally, I don't really like the little balls on the end, but maybe I could DIY something to film. Thank you.